All right, guys, I want to increase the font size of this text in our header image here on the classes page and really on any page on our Squarespace website. So I'm going to go to design, then custom CSS. We have a little CSS written in here. I'm just going to write from the top down. And in order to find the right CSS, we're going to highlight that text. Just looks so good on top of a nice image video like that, but it's not the right size or font. And we've maxed out how big we can go with the H1 or H2. So we're going to inspect it. All right, and here we have the H1. That's easy enough. So we're going to write out just H1 plainly and then open bracket. We're going to font size like 100 pixels and see if it just does anything. And it might not right away just because there's a lot of other styling behind it in Squarespace. So let's try the important. Still doesn't want to do it. Okay. You could always try the M, like 5M. Still not going to fly. All right, and what I found was that mobile jQuery below our CSS was messing up the good CSS we wrote. So we're going to work on that media screen query later. You probably won't have that problem, though. Now with simply an H1 and the font size, we can target the size of that text with something like 5RAM or 8RAM. Or if you like working in the pixels, that's good, too. We don't even need the important, and you should minimize importance if you can because they just clutter your site. And too many of them can confuse your site in terms of the order of what gets displayed. In any case, we're good now to target the H1. So that works good. We're going to just get a little greedy here and bring it up more. All right, then we'll just need to edit the space the text is in. While we're here, though, let's go to H2 and bring that font size up. Also... Okay, let's highlight that text one more time. And I think there's some hidden padding and margin. What is it? Margin, which is preventing our text from getting close like we want it. So we're going to reduce that. We're just going to go with margin zero. Let's see how that works. And H2 margin zero pixels. Cute. Very cute. Okay, we've learned how to change that H1 size on our Squarespace website and the H2 size, and we can save it. And now we're just going to go right in there. Give ourselves a little more space here for this text module. Great, now done save. We'll go back here. Super nice how it just snaps us back to the custom CSS window. Now we can really flex a little with that font size. And I want the appointment to be above the booking website and the booking website to rest exactly beneath it at the same width as the word appointment. I think we can get there. Might be a 124. I think we did it. Let's save it. And it'll be super clear when we're on the site actually because then we can see without this sidebar for the custom CSS area. Just another night of web designing here, guys. And the downside is doing this will affect other H1 areas unless we are page specific. Okay, and we're just gonna zoom out here and give a second for the video to transition to a really pretty background. While we're here, we can also change the text color to custom. Ideally, you will have a color wheel going and a color in mind. I'm obviously really bad with colors, but you know, if you're doing the color wheel, you can always hopefully choose an eyedropper. And you really can't do an eyedropper here. Squarespace, got to add in that color dropper. Come on, guys. Something like this is the look we want. Maybe Venice, maybe this castle on the mountainside. Can't go wrong with a look like this. I mean, it's just that nice. Bigger is, in this case, better. Refresh your classes page. 